What's good everyone, it's Kajani with a video going over all things new for crafting and gathering in Final Fantasy XIV patch 6.1. In this video, I'll highlight some of the new and exciting recipes that we got. You'll also find the location and breakpoints of the new legendary nodes, as well as macros to craft the new left side gear and tools for crafters and gatherers. Starting with the new and exciting recipes, we can now rejoice that Suzano has finally got a set of glowing weapons. The effects on the weapons are a mixture of water and lightning, which isn't shocking as there was plenty of both during the fight. While we're on the topic of primal weapons, Sage, Dancer, Reaper, and Gunbreaker now have glowing versions of the weapons that drop from the Minstrel's Ballad, Thordan's Reign. Fortunately, you won't have to farm Thordan's Reign for any materials to craft these shiny weapons. You will, however, need a lot of poetics and materials gathered from Heaven's Ward legendary nodes. Last but not least, we got the Varsity Glamour set. To craft any item from this set, you will need an exciting fiber cloth, which drops from the Excitatron 6000. Similar to patch 5.1, we got a couple new food recipes for crafters and gatherers. I listed their names on the screen to save me from having to pronounce that second recipe. Depending on your stats and rotations, you may not need either of these foods at the present moment. But if you decide you want to craft either of these foods, you will need a Thavnerian Calamari. As you guessed, we are headed to Thavnir. The Thavnerian Calamari can be caught in the Perfume Tides. I put the location on the screen. The best bait to use are going to be Mackerel Strips, which can be purchased at any script exchange vendor using purple scripts. Most importantly, you'll need the Folklore Tome for Islabard before attempting to catch a Thavnerian Calamari. Let's move on to the new crafting materials that we got in patch 6.1. On the screen, you'll find the locations of the materials gathered from legendary nodes as well as the breakpoints. The immutable solution can be purchased from any script exchange vendor using purple scripts. A combination of the aforementioned materials are used to craft the Hanish Fiber and the Eblin Danbarite, both of which are primary materials used to craft the Pact Maker crafting and gathering gear. Before we take a look at the crafting macros, it's going to be up to you how soon you want to upgrade the pack maker sets for your crafters and gatherers. However, it's not something that you need to rush to do. Once the optimal melds are released, the pack maker sets should be the best gear for your crafters and gatherers for patch 6.1. Furthermore, as long as they stick to the same pattern of releasing gear, the pack maker set should be able to carry you up until patch 6.3 when we expect Final Fantasy XIV to release new gear and accessories for crafters and gatherers. And now that I think about it, with the way that they're releasing patches, we can probably expect patch 6.3 sometime in December or even January. All of that to say is that if you can currently craft all the new master recipes and meet all the relevant gathering breakpoints, you can take your time to craft and overmeld the new packed maker sets. Speaking of crafting, let's take a look at the crafting macros. Before we do, keep in mind that you will need high quality base mats to craft the gear and the main hand tools. The number of high quality mats that you'll use really depends on your stats. It's also recommended that you use Psy T and high quality syrup as well, but again, you can adjust for your stats. All right, let's do some crafting. We will start with the macro used for the 35 durability materials, Hanish Fiber and Eblin Danbarite. We will start the craft, the progress phase with a muscle memory, follow that up with a veneration and then a groundwork. Groundwork is going to bring the durability of the craft down to five. So we'll go ahead and use Master's Mend and then Manipulation and then a Delicate Synthesis. Delicate Synthesis is going to bring the craft to where it takes one more step to finish. And as an added bonus, we got one stack of Inner Quiet for our quality phase, which let's go ahead and get started. We will start the quality phase off with an Innovation, Waste Not 2, and then three Preparatory Touches. Since we have Manipulation and Waste Not active, the preparatory touches will reduce the durability by 5 instead of 10. So after we've done our 3, we're going to go ahead and do innovation and then 2 more preparatory touches. After these preparatory touches are done, we're going to set up our quality finisher. 
which involves innovation, great strides, and then a Brygod's blessing. Innovation is already active, so I got my great strides there. See my innovation buff is still there. And then before I do my Brygod's blessing, let's check the calculations window to make sure it's enough to get me 100%, which it is. So go ahead and use Brygod's blessing. I got 100% there. And now I'm done with the craft. Now let's take a look at the macro to craft the right side gear as well as the main hand tools. It's strongly recommended that you use high quality mats. The amount of high quality mats that you use will depend on your stats. So let's go ahead and look at the macro starting with the progress phase. So there was a muscle memory, manipulation, veneration, waste not two. There's going to be two more groundworks and then a careful synthesis. After the careful synthesis, the craft will be one step away, as you can see right now, from finishing the craft. So let's go ahead and start the quality phase, which involves innovation, and then four preparatory touches. The preparatory touches is going to get us up to eight stacks of inner quiet, and then let's see what our percentage is. It's at 38%, eight stacks. So let's go ahead and continue to push quality by using innovation and then two prudent touches. At this point, after the prudent touches, based on the amount of high quality mats that you used and your stats, go ahead and check the calculations window to see if you can just cut the macro a little bit short and go ahead and start your quality finisher like I'm doing right now. So as you can see, my quality finisher is more than enough to bring me to 100%. I go ahead and use careful synthesis and then I am done with the craft. All right, that's all I got for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this video helpful, drop me a like. If you wanna stay tuned for more content, hit that subscribe button. Until next time, peace.